Welcome back friends to the homestead on this beautiful, well it feels like a fall day. We're getting down into the low temperature 41 last night. You can feel it in the air. I'm starting to feel like I want to put wool on. But good news, before the snow comes, we did get the greenhouse 100% done. So I wanted to do a walkthrough with that, explain why we bought a pre-manufactured rather than building it, what the installation was like. This is our second greenhouse. The first one I built, it was about eight by 10. It was a gambrel style roof and it worked just fine. We live in the mountains, so we get traditionally more snow than anyone else in the state in this Pacific area. Hasn't been the case of late, but that's typical, typically the case. So we need something very, very strong. Now, originally I was gonna start building, just gonna build one myself, you know, similar to what we did last time, but only bigger. The eight by 10 was not big enough. This one is a 10 by 20. When I started pricing out the lumber and the polycarbonate and the, the whole month I'd have to set aside to build it, I was well in excess of $10,000, which was getting more expensive than one of these. Now, the last time we were in the Netherlands, Mrs. W's first cousin, uh, they had this one at their house, I believe in Sweden, and we, that's where we first saw it. So we found one, found out that they're imported into Texas, and I'll put a link below so you, if you're interested. But with that being said, how much does it cost? When everything was said and done at, at here at our door, we came in at $11,000. Now that extra thousand dollars was a couple of extra few extra ex, or some accessories, a sunshade and things you don't need, but you can just figure for a 10 by 20 tempered glass construction, really, really high quality and tough. This is going to come in at $10,000. Now with all the site work, uh, the slab and such, we add another five on top of that. So I would say everything turnkey, if you're willing to put it together yourself and do a little bit of labor, you can do this for $15,000, which was about what the lumber package was gonna come in uh, just under for a wood one. $10,000 must be nice. There's always an East Coast guy that's gonna say that in the comments. East Coast guy, if you would stop buying scratch-offs for a year and buying your Michelob every week, and by the end of a year, you could buy a greenhouse yourself. As for me, everyone knows that after you hit a million subscribers, YouTube just flies over and drops bags of cash every month. And if you're wondering, we sat this on a 10 by 20, six inch reinforced concrete slab. So it's very strong. And it's also gonna create some thermal, some thermal mass. Thermal mass, yeah. It'll keep it a little bit warmer at night. Okay, so the double doors, these are pretty modular, these kits. You can basically add a door or a vent wherever you want. I mean, there's, you don't have unlimited choices, but you pretty well can change it if you want to put it on the gable end or on the side or over here, or have multiple doors where you want to walk through. So that's really nice. And it's very high quality. I mean, the, everything, are, they're just beautiful aluminum extrusions. There's even a full rain gutter on both sides. So all of the rain doesn't come down and drip down the sides into the mud or grass and splash up and make the windows all dirty. I thought I'd test out the rain gutter for you guys. And indeed it does work. I've got the hose on there. Nice thing when you don't have eaves, meaning overhangs, or eaves that overhang, then you have to walk under that wall of water like I do at my shop every time it rains. So this is very nice. If it's raining and you're going in and out, you can stay dry. Let's see how the uh, downspout works. And there you have it, one on each side. You could plumb these together and drop it into a rain barrel or into a small cistern or whatever you wanted to collect that water. Might be kind of a nice detail. That's something I'll probably do here. We installed five vents in the whole house. Three of them are automatic and two of them are manual. The manuals are operated with this crank handle, just like an RV awning. The manual vents allow you to let all, basically all of the heat out of the house. Let's say if she wants to work in here and just doesn't want to suffer. We can open these up and that's gonna vent. If you have any question as to the quality of the components on this, look at this jack screw, the quality of it from the solid brass uh, to the nickel uh, to the handle. Everything about this is absolutely uh, excellent quality. The Northwestern vent and the Southeastern vent, these are automatic. Now there's a, an element in here that is kind of a self-regulating that can, oh, it opens and closes or it expands and contracts with temperature variance. And it's been designed for to keep the greenhouse from freezing at a particular temperature. So this, these are fluctuating all day long as the temperature changes inside. The fifth and final vent is this beautiful glass louvered 
vent. <laughs> I, I, it absolutely gives me the fizz every time I look at it. And look at the quality, the mechanism, look at the brass components. This, it's so delightful to see something and to have and to work with something that is so well made where you just don't have any buyer's remorse. You know, so many things are disappointing these days. This isn't one of them. But isn't that gorgeous? Real glass, uh, so you don't have to have your view obstructed from the inside. And again, this will open and close throughout the day as we need more ventilation in the greenhouse. It's a, the most clever and ingenious temperature regulating system I've ever seen. Great cross bracing on the walls and across on the ceilings. It gives it a lot of sheer strength. It's very rigid. We had a really good windstorm blowing the other day and this was facing the brunt of it, that 20 foot wall, and it was just rock solid. No glass creaking, but very, very impressed with it. Here mid span of the center stud and truss, you can see the decorative, not only decorative, but functional braces, just to give it a little bit of strength. It has, it has a very European feel to it, which for me just means simple, clean, elegant, very classy. Say what you want about our European friends. Uh, they do have uh, a, a nice eye for detail and, and great, great design. And, and you see that everywhere here with just the clean lines and the simpleness of it. It's very European, but very classic at the same time. It's just something that will always, always be enjoyed and look nice. Here on the west side is one of the accessories that she ordered, and this was the planting box. I was thinking that it was going to be this kind of a big freestanding deal, and I was so surprised how well it integrated into the extrusions. It's very, it's, and it's very strong. I feel like I could sit on this at 200 pounds, even mid in the middle with no legs on there. It's, it's, I wouldn't, but it feels very strong. You've got these nice uh, plastic uh, panels that slide in here. They're not going to rot or corrode like wood. They're easily replaceable. They're made out of kind of a like a really heavy duty campaign sign type of material. And then this also, I believe, came with it. And this was just a potting shelf on there. And just very simple, about a four inch shelf that bolts in cleanly with the extrusions. You know, it doesn't impede the, 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 the I guess, the view looking out and seeing everything. Very nice. But uh, you just imagine all of your starts up there. And that's 20 feet of bench and 20 feet of that upper, you know, potting shelf which is quite a bit of real estate here. The pressing question is, who's gonna wash all the windows? That's something I haven't quite worked out yet. All right, so in closing, uh, what are my final impressions? I absolutely love it. It's, it's very, very nice. I have no regrets whatsoever. I love the styling. I love the gothic uh, detail on the top. That's actually dual purpose. It's to keep the birds from perching on there and pooping all over your glass. And does it work? I don't know. I haven't seen any birds up there, so time will tell on that. But just very classic and beautiful. I've always had a dream from the time I was a little kid. I've always thought how wonderful and romantic would it be ultimately when I had my home. And I always envisioned living in the mountains with a greenhouse just like this, full of red poinsettias in Christmas Eve with snow outside and it warm inside the greenhouse. Wouldn't that be something to see? I might just come out here and sit with Mrs. W. It might just be a, a nice place to be free or clear of the wind and the, and the uh, cold uh, from the fall. I just see it so differently now after it's up. I, I, I could see, I, you could totally justify having one of these just as an outside sitting room, just uh, for taking dinners and such and entertaining. It's absolutely beautiful. What a place to have a, a dining room table, huh? All right, well, that's it. Thanks for watching. Mrs. W and I are loading up the truck and the new box trailer. That thing has been handier than a pocket in a shirt. And we're picking up four tons, four tons of giant Mount Fuji flagstone. That might be in the next video. So thanks for watching. May God bless you and your families. Please keep us in your prayers. We'll see you all on the next video.